Thank you, Lord Jesus.
have mercy on us in the name of Jesus. Any way we have sinned against Him, have we? Jesus Christ saying His word. If we say we have not seen, I will make Him a lie, and the truth is not in us. Confessing and coming, you know, conf coming to the place of God, confessing our sins. It doesn't matter the level of um, involvement you are in his activities either being a pastor or being a preacher or being whatever you may, you may think we are or that the society has accredited accredited to us the law expects you and me at all times to always humble ourselves i know that the place of claiming who you are in christ and even though you may know who you are in christ and still humble yourself that humility is it touches God like no other thing. That's the only way we can break the heart of God. That's the only way we can have access. Hallelujah. Imagine David after that incredible victory that he had over you know over over Goliath with all the depth when he said deep experience and understanding of God. At that level, he sees himself as nothing. Sincerely. Even though he know God, you know, the Bible says that those that know God will do what exploit. That means those that does exploits, you know, in the hands of God on this earth, you know, divine exploit, exploit not exploits, you know, associated with the fetishness or try to involve witchcraft and all those kind of things. Those who do exploit without attaching anything without putting their trust or their hand into any other thing. That should be a level of, you know, you exercising pride. You say, yes, I'm boasting. But even you may boast, but because you, you know, want us to humble ourselves, no matter what. David achieved all that and was a king and was a prophet and write a lot of psalms and all those kind of things. He was just, you know, he was well known, he was a king, he was only going to battle and coming back with victory. With the tremendous victory and success of David, he still humble his humility before God, it's undeniable, really, you know, you know, deep, deeper, very deep. May God have mercy in the name of Jesus. I pray that God will help us and open our eyes you know, to this deep uh, secret of the success of our father David in the name of Jesus. Because every great man in this world, even if you are a millionaire and a billionaire, if you look deeply to the billionaires and billionaires and those who are really great, look very deep in their life. They may appear arrogant and look very deep. Those who are not, not, the, not the looters or those who use opportunity to steal. Look deep, deeply. You see intermediate level of humility because that's what brings about us, you know, greatness. You know, like someone says something, if you take all the billionaires of this world today, put them in the poorest part and the most uh, deprived place of this earth, don't give them 10 years, even before 10 years, they will still come back again to life. But if you take the most, uh, you know, the most poorest people and put them in the most uh, you know, advanced or, or transfer the riches to the richest people, they will waste. They will waste their resources. That means being the rich or being the great man is the thing of inner, inside. Not the things of, uh, it's not about the opportunities. So when we say, oh, yeah, an opportunity can be there, but regardless, is is inward being built how that is inward genuine 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 riches genuine you know is is inward is inward hallelujah and you can see that in the life of david no matter how the enemy tried to bring him down when he was in the field in the bush with the animal he was tremendously successful they brought him out he was fighting with david and we saw he was tremendously successful. He was a king. He was tremendously successful. 
even with with his uh, yes, he married uh, so many women. He was still tremendously successful because of his level of humility before God. The riches and the money did not, you know, make him to feel yes, I have arrived. The position he see, so I said, doesn't make him he has arrived. And I pray in the name of Jesus that we tap into this secret of success of uh, our great father David. Hallelujah. Solomon fell, not just so that he fell because of uh, because of uh, you know women. But his failure is the is inward. Remember, he inherited what his father built. The level of pride. Level of pride. And this pride is what you know is in almost let me say in every one and how God has created as a level of pride. All of us have this pride in us. But the Lord wants us to see beyond the pride and see the potent of pride and destructive uh, you know, aspect of pride. And I pray in the name of you, the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. At the, at the same way, Jesus Christ, in the in, in the in the arena of uh, the arena of humility, be like a lamb, be like a lamb, humble himself. The same way too, he was he was that the Bible says he is what he was a lion of the tribe of what Judah. Hallelujah. Even in our humility, we should not we should not throw away that serious thing the Lord has put in us knowing what is good and knowing what is evil and saying no with everything in us to what is evil with what the, with, with boldness with boldness that's the reason why the Lord really encourages us all that if you want to really be bold as a lion you know you want to be bold as a lion and we need to we need to humble ourselves. We need to humble ourselves to what to accept the truth. Accept the truth. Accept the truth. Accept the truth. No truth will compromise. But the whole totality of truth that will bring out what? That boldness, that freedom to say no. And I pray the name of Jesus tonight. The Lord will touch us, the Lord will heal us in the name of Jesus. Once again tonight, what was going to have the Lord? Please, Lord, have mercy on me. If anyone has sinned against you, they will have opened the door to the enemy. Consciously or unconsciously, have mercy, have mercy. Let's start first of all with ourselves. Ask the Lord to have mercy on me. Please, Lord, have mercy. Forgive me and cleanse me from my sins. In the name of Jesus, everywhere that I have promised and failed, everywhere that I have cheated, consciously or unconsciously, that have mercy, have mercy, have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord Jesus. We recommend the Lord Jesus, my son, that our sinners. Father, Lord, have mercy. Have mercy, Lord Jesus. My son, in the name of Roko Iria. In the name of Sororo, if we say we have sinned, we have not sinned, we make you a liar. And the, and, the, and, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the truth is not in us. Father, Lord Jesus, we humble ourselves, oh Lord Jesus, tonight we ask that you have mercy. Cleanse me from all my iniquity. Cleanse me, Lord Jesus, from all my, every form of deception. Cleanse me, Lord, from every form of secret sin. Cleanse me, Lord, you from every kind of revenge and annoyance. Cleanse me, Lord, you from every form of deception, the Lord. Cleanse me, Lord, wash me, Lord Jesus. My son in the more rock area. Wash me, Lord, wash me, Lord, wash me, Lord, wash me, Lord. In the name of God, let those things that those sins have deprived or have stolen from my life. Father, by your mercy, let that be restoration. Let that be restoration. Let that be restoration in the name of Jesus. My son in the more rock area. David said in the word of God, yes, the enemy, the mouth that the enemy has shut, the tongue that the enemy has closed, but I have restored. Let it open again. Let the, 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 the mouth, the tongue that the enemy has shut, let it open again. In the book of Psalm 51. But I please, Lord, have mercy, Lord. Let every restoration, Lord. Restore, 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 restore. Maya, the rebel rope here. 
restore, 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 restore. Have mercy, have mercy on us in the name of Jesus. Are you a man or a woman of God? Are you a woman when you are growing up? You are seeing some things that you, you know that these things are not right. You hate them with passion. But now you are in a position where to cause those changes to be real in this world. And now you are compromising that position and begin to do because of what the benefit that you are deriving from it. May God have mercy in the name of Jesus. John, like one of these uh, African countries, like this is a leader. The guy was in a labor, in a labor, in a labor. It was seriously everybody, you know, held him in the highest regard because he stand against the government when the government are doing bad, evil or doing bad. He criticized them and let them know. And the process, most of most of them change and begin to do what is right. But when he mounted with the pupils, he became he started compromising with them. But at the end of it all, today. His state is, is, is so bad. The way he is today is so bad. Because what he was fighting against, he now went into the system, then began to do the same thing he was he was he was kicking against. That was those problems with man. When we you know, when we start shouting for justice or whatever, let's keep on doing it all the way, all the way. Enemy will bring a lot of distractions. Enemy will bring a lot of uh, distractions on the way to make you to compromise or to make you to soil. Those are your confessions. The Lord wants us to stand tall. Yes, there's challenges. He wants us to stand tall. To stand tall. Stand tall. In the process, that will bring a lot of vulnerable you know, situations that are supposed to make you to compromise. Make you to compromise your stand. I put you in a situation that you have to compromise in. There's no way. But the Lord wants us to stand. He wants us to stand. He wants us to stand. In the name of Jesus. My son in the name of Roya. Let's sing this song together. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you praise, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, lift me up. And let me say that faith on earth will save all earth. I have prayed, I have feet on higher ground. Plant my feet on higher ground. On the higher ground, oh Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Mercy, Lord. Mercy, Lord. Mercy, Lord, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Give me the grace to stand, oh Lord Jesus, no matter the situation I face. In the name of Jesus. Because the situation we face will always let you reveal yourself to you. If you actually truly trust in God or not, when situation comes your way, Father, help me, O oh Lord Jesus. Help me, O oh Lord Jesus. Help me, O oh Lord. Help me, O oh Lord. Help me, O oh Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I want us to ask the Lord tonight once again, 
prayer, Lord, I know I have failed. I know I have uh, blown it. I know that I have, uh, that I have, uh, you have led me to discover myself that I am not the, the, what I think I am. But unfortunately, I thought that I am really, really, you know, with you. The situation has come. Here am I have fallen. I have fallen. I have seen against you so many ways. I have a compromise. Father, Lord, have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord Jesus. Praise me, Lord. Strengthen me, oh Lord Jesus. Strengthen me, Lord. Help me, Lord Jesus, to pick up myself and keep moving. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Help me to pick up myself, oh Lord. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord Jesus, to be sincere to this healing process. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You know the reason why why my soul keep failing. Anytime he cried to Saul, to to David, David, please forgive me. You are more righteous than me. I will not do this again. That confession was the that healing that, that 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 you know that he tried to attend was not genuine, was not sincere. You see, until when we begin to you know be sincere to the repentance that you're asking God for. That's one thing we need to happen. You can see David, when David asked God for forgiveness, he was sincere. Totally sincere. Totally sincere. When he asked, you know, a big girl for, for no, no, when he asked a big girl, when he repented for what he wanted to do against a big girl's husband, he was sincere to it. The sincerity, not just confessing it. And I'm going to pray for God for you. The God wants us to be sincere from the end of our heart. That's only when we can see a positive, a genuine change, a genuine transformation. That's when we can see a genuine, you know, you know, you know, how the restoration. That's when we can see, you know, a total, a total, a total turnaround. I want to begin to see the, the true hand of God in our lives. Father, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy on me. In the name of Jesus. Every spirit of compromise, every spirit of sacred sin, every negative things in my life that I have been enjoying. Father, Lord Jesus, I come, O Lord, I repent from them all, O Lord. Forgive me, cleanse me, O Lord Jesus. Please, your Holy Spirit, O Lord Jesus. Let your Holy Spirit, O Lord Jesus. Man, none of help me, O Lord Jesus. Help me, O Holy Spirit, O God, O Lord. Draw my ears, O Lord Jesus. Draw my attention, O Lord Jesus, to those areas, O Lord. My son, in the which enemy want to use my Sunday to form a negative stronghold in my life? Father, deliver me in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray, Amen. Hallelujah. This prayer we are praying in this moment is not only for 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 those who are or who are servants in the hands of God, including those who are servants in our society, in the government, in the school, wherever you know department we find ourselves. God wants us to be sincere. For only the sincerity can turn that can bring about a genuine, a genuine, a genuine transformation, a genuine change, a genuine peace, a genuine blessing. Sincerity, sincerity in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You see, when we use the faith currency, and the one we use the faith currency to, to you know, when we add the faith currency in the in the in the public. Definitely within a short while that fake currency, you know, will show up in itself. It cannot last. But when you put a genuine currency in the society, the genuine currency can last and last and last and last and last. A fake currency just just a matter of time. Just a matter of time. It will expose itself. That's when that is something with genuine we are genuinely, genuinely after the truth. The truth, the truth, the truth, the truth, the truth will last forever. How dear. The one we try to use deception and lies and manipulation, unfortunately, they cannot last forever. May God help us in the name of Jesus. Uh, that is something to when you get into a relationship with genuine heart, with the with the genuine heart. How dear. that relationship what will last. But if not, unfortunately, there will always be a problem. And therefore, whatever we do in life, we pray in the name of Jesus. Father Lord Jesus, if we our approach has been negative, from this moment, Lord, we repent, we repent, we repent. Let there be transformation, Lord Jesus. We don't want to start 
and, 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 and not finish. We don't want to, we don't want to, you know, you know, you know, start and someone else will come in order to eat or to or to inherit what we have worked for. Father Lord, let that not be our portion. Anything we start, we must finish. Your word said the Lord Jesus Solomon started the building and he finished. The storm started his own building and the building of the house of the Lord and he finished. And the Lord blessed him in the name of Jesus. Father, whatever we start, we must finish. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every power of negative limitations, the blood of Jesus against you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. This our revenue to soak our leaders in the name of your uh, political settings, the blood of Jesus. As a law, please, Lord, have mercy. Have mercy, Lord Jesus. Let your love, let your wisdom, let your understanding be upon our leaders in the name of Jesus. My son, the name of Rocco, the genuine heart to serve, the genuine heart to serve mm -hmm. with the best intention in the name of Jesus over our leaders in all our countries. In the name of Jesus, my son, in the name of Rock, wherever he was there, then in the name of Sorok, Father Lord Jesus, bless our leaders, Lord Jesus, with a heart that is full of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Bless our leaders, Lord, with a heart that is full of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Our political leaders, Lord, our religious leaders, Lord, a genuine heart that is full of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. In the name of Jesus, anyhow, we have been trying to use the smart way or the fast way in order to bring uh, the same blessings that is not pure, that is not real. Father Lord, forgive us, Lord. No run in the name of Jesus. We have repented, we are repenting in the name of Jesus. We are taking the right route, the right way to achieving those sources in the name of your lasting sources in the name of Jesus. My son, the true way to achieve those sources in the name of Jesus. My go for the river. Nene mercy the river rock here. In the name of Jesus. Father Lord, just any sources and any way that you, that we that we intend to use, which is not right, to Lord. Father, frustrate, 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 frustrate to Lord. Frustrate to Lord Jesus. Any wrong way and manipulation and lies and deception. Father, frustrate, 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 frustrate to Lord. Frustrate it to Lord. In the name of release everything that you have created, to Lord. To frustrate those ways, to Lord. Because the first way we end up hurting us, hurting our children, and the, and the, and the building a toxic, a toxic, a toxic future. My son, in here, miss you, Lord. Miss you, Lord. We we repent, Lord, from our evil ways, you know. We realign ourselves, Lord, to the right path, to the right, to the truth, to the sincerity. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. My son, in here, for I take away evil from my hand. Take away wickedness from my hand. Take away not just injustice from my hand. In the name of Jesus. My son in Moroya. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Let me to pray for protection over our countries, over our lives. In the name of your Father, this moment to Lord. We lift up all our countries, all the countries of the world. We pray Lord, for your protection, O Lord. Protect us from every evil, from every disaster, from every mistake. In the name of from every natural disasters. Deliver us, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. Deliver us, o Lord Jesus, from disaster, from mistake, from evil. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Deliver us, o Lord. Deliver us. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. We know sometimes in, in life, some of the negative things or, you know, of some of the inventions we have today, they are derived from mistakes. And sometimes when some people discover some, some breakthrough or some mistakes or some error, they will hide this error and use it to cause calamity in our society. Now the invention of all these uh, war, 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 war armories, bombs and all those stuff, all some of, some of these things, they did not just, it's out of what mistake, trial and error. In the process of the men who produce the bomb that all of us are enjoying today, we had that he tried how many times? About 100 times before he was able to successfully you know, come out to this client. In the process of those trials, 
there's a loads of things you have discovered and some of this some of those discoveries can be detrimental to our society or can you know they can be good or bad but that's what comes from research that all these bombs and all these guns and all that they, they, they are what from research the process to bring to bring a solution to a particular problem a particular need in the process there's a lot of processes that goes around there's a lot of trial and error in the process we need to discover some things sometimes people discover things don't like what was discovered you know a few years ago that was a practice in dubai that caused that massive flood in the atmosphere and now that's something i was watching before i went to to relax for this there's one there was there's an, an invention this guy produced this very particular machine it will take the act the the air the air that we breathe in and out and store it in a container and convert it to what to water pure water either you believe it or not people say that pure that water is not pure because mm -hmm. it's not natural That you can say anything you want to say, you can check anything. Those equipment, equipment we used to check all of our things and, and 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 satisfy them okay or not okay. And then all the same instrument instruments that have satisfied things okay. Later on, people will start say, oh, those things that we say it was okay yesterday, it's not okay today. <laughs> There's still you still human manipulations. Don't say that was okay yesterday. They are not okay today. May God help us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. There's a lot of things that we invent that end up hurting us all. I want us to pray tonight in the name of Jesus once again. Say, Father, Lord, please, Lord, deliver us, to Lord Jesus. Deliver our countries and our war from human wickedness. From human wickedness. Those who use our tech, the technology or the discovery to begin to, you know, because some of these things can be used to transfer, you know, to transfer sicknesses and diseases in a particular area, in a particular region. Yes. And if human being can cause something to become rain upstairs and begin to rain down to our society, then that rain can be mixed with some with sickness and diseases and rain upon us. And we take those things and drink. And what will we going to cause? That is a silent killer. They can use it to pollute our crops. May <laughs> God help us in the name of That is why we have to pray. That some who may have such kind of intention to use some of these things against a particular region or society, may the Lord frustrate their program. May the Lord frustrate their program. Let there be no agreement within them in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, please help us, O Lord. In the name of you. the the greatest destruction in this world is not caused by God, it's human being. The thing that have taken the most you know life and death, caused the highest death so far, is caused by what human being, human wickedness. May God help us in the name of Jesus. I mean to pray in the name of your prayer, Lord, just stop every wicked soul. Stop it, no matter whatever influence they are having in our world. Father Lord, please stop them, O Lord. Remove the heart of negative heart they have in the name of Jesus. Reveal to them, Lord. Help them to see things they read and to, to, to follow the path of truth, righteousness, and justice. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Father Lord, have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. 
We all we are crying for population control, population control, population control. Then now a lot of robots are gonna and are gonna replace us. Then why are we crying for population control when, when we are building robots to replace human beings? And that means the time will come in this world today that we will not have a human being living here on earth. If if robots have to replace us, take over. And the man that produces all the robots become very old and die. Then who's gonna take care of, of, of those things? And as he's producing using those robots, he keep telling people don't don't marry or don't give back. They are still controlling. There's a lot of places today in this in the, in, the, in our world, both in Africa, in England, everywhere today. There's a lot of factories that have totally shut down. There's a lot of places that were booming before that are now closed down permanently because there's no people to work in those places. Even though there's a lot of uh, you know, immigration trooping in, they cannot still sustain the work opportunity that's all over the world. I was going somewhere, you know, recently. I saw a gigantic building. It's like a ghost, a ghost, a ghost village, a ghost commercial village. There used to be a commercial village before. Ghost, no, not even a single soul in that place. You are still calling what? You know, a population control. Can you see there's an error? There's a problem. Population control. Put all the women in one place, in one village, for just hundred years, and put all the men in one place for just hundred years. If you go there, that place will become a ghost town. Why can't we leave the natural way of recreation that the Lord has created to continue to, you know, exist in this world? May God have mercy in the name of Jesus. Because there's a problem with our society, there's a problem with we human beings. We know the truth, but we decide to twist the truth to suit our own evil agenda. May God help us in the name of Jesus. Help me to pray in the name of your Father. Please, Lord Jesus. Help our society, help our leaders, oh Lord Jesus. Whatever spell, whatever negative thing that is covering their eyes of understanding, they are covering their sincerity, they are covering the truth. Father Lord Jesus, our truth. Every evil stronghold that has come to kill us and to destroy our lives, in the name of let them be destroyed. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Give our leaders once again wisdom, knowledge, and understanding divine wisdom and understanding to become what you have created them to be in the name to manage those positions that have put them in the name of in sincerity in truth in the mighty name of jesus thank you lord tonight to lord jesus for what you've done blessed be your holy name in the name of jesus we pray amen i pray that we protect our leaders give them sound mind O lord protect our leaders in the name of jesus and feed them O lord jesus my sanity reverie with this exceptional wisdom in the name of jesus that will better our world in the mighty name of jesus christ we pray amen and amen thank you lord thank you lord tonight to lord in jesus name we pray amen and amen now we're going to go straight now to our confessions and i pray the lord in the name of jesus we pray through us to confess these words through us and confess them through with meaning that we confess them in the name of jesus to confess this word let the lord be earlier use the word that we will confess to do great things in our lives tonight in the name of jesus we pray in psalm 23 from verse 1 to end Thank you, Lord Jesus. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in great pastures. He leaves me beside the still waters. And he restores my soul. 
and uh, he did me the path of righteousness for his name's sake even though i walk through the valleys of shadow of death and i fear no evil for you are with me your rod and your son they comfort me in the name of jesus master you prepare the table before me in the presence of my enemies in the name of you are not my head with oil my cup overflow surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and i shall dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever in the name of jesus christ we pray amen and amen hallelujah thank you lord jesus now let's now move on the psalm hallelujah in 59 verse 1 and 2 deliver me from my enemies oh my god protect me from those who rise up against me deliver me from those who, who walk able and save me from broadcasting me in the mighty name of jesus we pray amen and amen thank you lord jesus thank you lord jesus and the psalm 91 from verse 1 to end thank you lord jesus he who dwells in the shelter of the most high will abide under the shadow of the almighty i will say to the lord my refuge my fortress my god in whom i trust in the name of Jesus, for he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler, from the deadly pestilence. In the name of Jesus, he will cover you with his pinion, and under his wing you will find refuge. In the name of Jesus, his faithfulness is the sheet and the buckler. You will not fear the terrors of the night, nor the arrow that flies at day. You will not fear the person that stalks in darkness, nor the destruction that works at noon day. A thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand shall not come near you. In the name of Jesus, you only look with your eyes and see that the confess of the wicked. In the name of because you have made the Lord your dwelling place. The most high who is my refuge. No evil shall arise before me. No plague will come near your tent. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. My son, therefore, he will command his angels concerning you, regarding in all your ways. On your hand, the hand will bear you up, lest you strike your foot against a stone. In the name of Jesus. You will tread on the lion, the under the young lion and serpent, which are trampled on that foot in the name of Jesus. Because you hold fast to me in love. Hallelujah. And I will deliver him. I will protect him. Because he knows my name. When he calls to me, I will answer him. I will with him in trouble in the name of Jesus. I will rescue him and honor him. The long life I will satisfy him. I will show him my salvation in the name of Jesus. Father, show us your salvation, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Mm. For those things that have stealing our our love for you. In the name of Jesus. For we call them out from our lives. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We ask the Lord, let our love, our love for you. Hallelujah. Take his store again. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Psalm 144 from verse 1 to end. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be the Lord our rock who trained our hands for war our fingers for battle this is our steadfast love hallelujah this is our fortress our stronghold our deliverer hallelujah our shield my shield in whom i take refuge of these people under me oh lord what is the man that you regard him or son of man i think of him man is like a breath is dead like a passing shadow bow your heavens oh lord and come down for the mountain so the smoke in the name of Jesus. Man, man, the most of Flash for the mountain and scatter them. Set out your arrow and rule them. In the name of Jesus. Man, son, the most of the way here. Man, son, the most of the way out your hand from all hand. Rescue me and deliver me from the many waters, from the hands of the foreigners, whose mouth speaks, speaks nice, and whose right hand is threatened of falsehood. I will sing in this song to you, O God, upon the ten I will pray to you who give victory to kings in the name of Jesus. Who rescue David his son from a cross, so rescue me and deliver me in the name of Jesus. From the hands of the foreigners, whose mouth speaks nice, whose right hand is without a falsehood in the name of Jesus. May our song be like a plant full, full grown. May our son be like a plant full grown, our daughters like a conaculus, call for a switch of a palace. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. May our marriage be full, providing all kinds of produce. In the name of Jesus. May our sheep bring forth thousands and ten thousand in our fields. In the name of Jesus. May our son here. 
In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. So shall it be. In the name of Jesus. My son in him. May our cattle be heavy with young. Suffering no mishap or failure in bearing. In the name of the May there be no part of distress in our street. Blessed are the people to whom so blessing for. Blessed are the people whose God is the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Man, man, the more rock up here. The rebass and the rebel of rock up here was there. Many mass and the rebel rock up here was there. Nana mass and the gabaka in the bow rock up here. Many the mix in the bow rock up here by the bush here. Many mass and the dear. Nana mass and the rebel rock up here by the dear. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. The sound one, two, four, four, one, one to end. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. My brother, my sister, how their prayer is the best way to get what you want in life. Prayer is the best way. Sincerity, openness, hallelujah, is the best way. Is the best way. Be sincere. Be sincere. Okay, let me just share this testimony. I have one issue with all my customers. We're supposed to be a very bad and bad and bad experience that they had with me. God knows my heart that I was sincere. Even the process of, you know, at the at the at the at the, at the backstage of the of the whole of the whole system, I was sincere to the core. Even though I had something to do, I have other things I supposed to have used to rob my customer. I find a way to lie. But the law, even though I have something. Yes, which is which is more than enough to make me to, you know, do that. But I, I, my intention wasn't to disappoint or to do that at all. It wasn't at all. God knows, and I tried to make every necessary decision to make sure I prevent that, that that negative whatever to happen. We're supposed to bring a very big setback to our to to our business. I did everything I could to explain the situation as a man could. But because God knows my heart, I know. And He Himself fight that very incident for me, for us. Fight, He fought. And He was able to deliver us totally from it. And the criminal are not relying on one power I have to manipulate somebody, to control somebody, to do that and begin to use it on that customer. I'm telling you, it's going to backfire. Remember, you may cover your sin and think that nobody sees you, but you cannot hide it from God. Sincerity, you know, opens way for you to be able to contend with the enemy and, so, and, so, and, so, and succeed or survive. So, succeed and survive, yes. Sincerity. That the Lord said, bring your matter to me, contend with me. Prove your innocence, prove your sincerity. Come to the place of justice. Let's, let, let's iron it together. Very, very important, my brothers and sisters. Or else we end up, you know, hurting ourselves because we, the enemy is definitely going to fail us. Even though you may look as if you are the, in the top of the victory of whatever, you end, end, end up failing. Even if you have the victory, that victory is not real, it's not sincere. You still end up one way or the other being hurt. That's what made people to begin to go after suicide, suicide mission, to commit suicide. Sincerity will always put you above every other place. Please, my brothers and sisters. Because Satan, who will give you an idea how to do this thing, how to lie, how to do all the manipulation and all those stuff. The way you begin to reap what you have sown, Satan will be there mocking you. May God help us in the name of Jesus. I pray for the spirit of sincerity. And that's the reason why you know, we asking God to have mercy is very, very essential as, as we live here on earth. I always ask God to have mercy. I sincerely asking God to have mercy. Not just saying God to have mercy, whereas we are not ready to surrender to, to Him. 
we go and have mercy in the name of Jesus. Because that is the only way we can overcome a lot of things mysterious without mysterious in the name of Jesus. And uh, like manipulation and being like a Satan, just like Satan, we successfully manipulated the whole world. Man manipulated Adam and Eve. Successfully was happy, yes, I have dealt with God. Today, who is crying? Is he not the one? It will not, the truth will always prevail. It always lies against humanity. Now he'll be chained forever. And now he doesn't want to be chained alone and be going to hellfire all alone. He wants to go with you and me. But his agenda over you and me are frustrated. It cannot happen. In the name of Jesus. It will not happen. In the name of Jesus. Please, my brothers and sisters, they just try. They just try. I know it can be so hard and tough. But let's just try. In the name of Jesus. No matter whatever situation I are going through today, it's not the worst. As I told, I always tell my story. A time was here in the UK. I will, because I believe, in, I believe, I believe, I believe myself. There was a time that I will eat bread the whole week. When I go to the toilet, you see the bread, you pull it out. Because only water and bread, without any other thing, because there's no money. No work. And there's other opportunity there for me to lie or to manipulate the situation. I refuse to use them. By the grace of God, it wasn't easy. It's always good. Because if I now follow those ways, most of people who are following that way, or want me to join them that way. Some of them are no more today. Some of them, their state is just horrible. Some of them, that situation, that thing, the evil they put their hand, have, have eaten them up. They cannot even reason like a human being. They cannot even, they are mentally derailed. They are not good. Things are totally worse than ever. But before they were saying, oh, I didn't stay there. You are just wasting your time. That you are the one who are in on top of the situation. And today is a totally different bargain. Please let's stand, let's, let's stand truthful and stand straightforward and as sincere in everything we do. I will see in the name of that it will definitely pay up in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Let's go now to our last confession. It said, If it had not been the Lord who had been on our side, let Israel now say, If it had not been the Lord who had been on our side. When people rose up against us, they would have swallowed us up our life. When the anger was kindled against us, the flow would have swept us away. The torrent would have gone over us. Then over us would have gone the raging waters. But blessed be the Lord who has not given us as a prayer to the teeth of our enemies. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for shutting off the mouth of the enemy. Thank you for delivering us, Lord Jesus, my son from their teeth. We have escaped like a bird from the snare of the fowler. The snare is broken. We have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made the heavens and the earth. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We say glory to your holy name tonight. Glory to your holy name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Before we go to that, please help us to go through these Bible readings. And in the after that, may the mercy of God will come back in the name of Jesus. So we complete our confessions. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, Jesus, I give you praise. Only you are God. Book of Numbers, chapter 4, from verse 1 to end. Numbers 4 and to end. Thank you, Jesus. saying, 
Take a census of the sons of Kohath from among the sons of Levi, by their clans and their fathers' houses, from thirty years old up to fifty years old, all who can come on duty to do the work in the tent of meeting. This is the service of the sons of Kohath in the tent of meeting, the most holy things. When the camp is to set out, Aaron and his sons shall go in and take down the veil of the screen and cover the ark of the testimony with it. Then they shall put on it a covering of goatskin and spread on top of that a cloth all of blue and shall put in its poles. And over the table of the bread of the presence they shall spread a cloth of blue and put on it the plates, the dishes for incense, the bowls and the flagons for the drink offering. The regular showbread also shall be on it. Then they shall spread over them a cloth of scarlet and cover the same with a covering of goatskin and shall put in its poles. And they shall take a cloth of blue and cover the lampstand for the light with its lamps, its tongs, its trays, and all the vessels for oil with which it is supplied. And they shall put it with all its utensils in a covering of goatskin and put it on the carrying frame. And over the golden altar they shall spread a cloth of blue and cover it with a covering of goatskin and shall put in its poles. And they shall take all the vessels of the service that are used in the sanctuary, and put them in a cloth of blue, and cover them with a covering of goatskin, and put them on the carrying frame. And they shall take away the ashes from the altar, and spread a purple cloth over it. And they shall put on it all the utensils of the altar which are used for the service there, the fire pans, the forks, the shovels, and the basins, all the utensils of the altar. And they shall spread on it a covering of goatskin, and shall put in its poles. And when Aaron and his sons have finished covering the sanctuary and all the furnishings of the sanctuary as the camp sets out, after that the sons of Kohath shall come to carry these. But they must not touch the holy things, lest they die. These are the things of the tent of meeting that the sons of Kohath are to carry. And Eleazar the son of Aaron the priest shall have charge of the oil for the light, the fragrant incense, the regular grain offering, and the anointing oil, with the oversight of the whole tabernacle and all that is in it, of the sanctuary and its vessels. The Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron, saying, Let not the tribe of the clans of the Kohathites be destroyed from among the Levites, but deal thus with them, that they may live and not die when they come near to the most holy things. Aaron and his sons shall go in and appoint them each to his task and to his burden. But they shall not go in to look on the holy things even for a moment, lest they die. The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Take a census of the sons of Gershon also by their fathers' houses and by their clans. From thirty years old up to fifty years old you shall list them, all who can come to do duty, to do service in the tent of meeting. This is the service of the clans of the Gershonites in serving and bearing burdens. They shall carry the curtains of the tabernacle, and the tent of meeting with its covering, and the covering of goatskin that is on top of it, and the screen for the entrance of the tent of meeting, and the hangings of the court, and the screen for the entrance of the gate of the court that is around the tabernacle and the altar, and their cords and all the equipment for their service. And they shall do all that needs to be done with regard to them, all the service of the sons of the Gershonites shall be at the command of Aaron and his sons, in all that they are to carry, and in all that they have to do. And you shall assign to their charge all that they are to carry. This is the service of the clans of the sons of the Gershonites in the tent of meeting, and their guard duty is to be under the direction of Ithamar the son of Aaron the priest. As for the sons of Merari, you shall list them by their clans and their fathers' houses. From thirty years old up to fifty years old you shall list them, everyone who can come on duty, to do the service of the tent of meeting. And this is what they are charged to carry, as the whole of their service in the tent of meeting. The frames of the tabernacle, with its bars, pillars, and bases, and the pillars around the court with their bases, pegs, and cords, with all their equipment and all their accessories. And you shall list by name the objects that they are required to carry. This is the service of the clans of the sons of Merari, the whole of their service in the tent of meeting, under the direction of Ithamar the son of Aaron the priest. And Moses and Aaron and the chiefs of the congregation listed the sons of the Kohathites by their clans and their fathers' houses, 
from 30 years old up to 50 years old, everyone who could come on duty for service in the tent of meeting, and those listed by clans, were 2,750. This was the list of the clans of the Kohathites, all who served in the tent of meeting, whom Moses and Aaron listed according to the commandment of the Lord by Moses. Those listed of the sons of Gershon by their clans and their fathers' houses, from 30 years old up to 50 years old, everyone who could come on duty for service in the tent of meeting. Those listed by their clans and their fathers' houses were 2,630. This was the list of the clans of the sons of Gershon, all who served in the tent of meeting, whom Moses and Aaron listed according to the commandment of the Lord. Those listed of the clans of the sons of Merari by their clans and their fathers' houses, from 30 years old up to 50 years old, everyone who could come on duty for service in the tent of meeting, those listed by clans were 3,200. This was the list of the clans of the sons of Merari, whom Moses and Aaron listed according to the commandment of the Lord by Moses. All those who were listed of the Levites, whom Moses and Aaron and the chiefs of Israel listed by their clans and their fathers' houses, from 30 years old up to 50 years old, everyone who could come to do the service of ministry and the service of bearing burdens in the tent of meeting, those listed were 8,580. According to the commandment of the Lord through Moses they were listed, each one with his task of serving or carrying. Thus they were listed by him as the Lord commanded Moses. Amen. Um, you can see how how detailed work can be. How detailed work can be. Mentioning the name of each one, stating each of you know how many numbers and uh, how many numbers he recognized from that very tribe, who are between this age and that age. Why between this age and that age? 30 to 50 years. And I pray in the name of Jesus tonight, Lord Jesus. And not toss Lord with that state of organization. Not just looking on things and just not getting the meaning or not getting the details. For I help us, Lord Jesus. That our inner eye, the eye to see beyond. You know, there are some people who have this grace. If you just give them something now, just give them a pee, or just look at something, just one pin, they have to draw it. They can draw exactly what you just stamp, they can draw to the details. The details. It's the same thing the Lord, you know, when the Lord said, I should train to, that we should cover the spirit of a prophecy. And we should train ourselves. We should train, train. The man of the train us. Practice make perfect. We should train ourselves. When we practice it, you become. Because when you are practicing it, and your mind is there, you are seeing yourself becoming. And you now have a program that you always practice the same thing over and over. Find what you become. You will become that very thing that you, you know, desire. And I pray the Lord may help us to desire the right and not the wrong things. In the name of Jesus. Here is the eyes of the details of God, of organization. May God help us in the name of Jesus. The enemy does not want us to look things deeply. They don't want us to see the right side of any issue. They want us to just, yes, we are there, we are doing so, but your mind, your heart is not there. It's the when your heart is there. That is when, for example now, in a relationship and marriages and other stuff, that the people who have great idea of how marriage, how marriage is supposed to be, they have read, they know a lot of things, details how marriage should be. 
But when your heart is in drama in the marriage, with all the information you have, and your heart is there, you have seen when you, when you say your heart is in the marriage or relationship, you know, is is a different thing between you you getting married and you are, and you really want to stay in that marriage. The true marriage is this. Not like that confession people do make that you know in sickness in, in sickness in health and all this stuff the death do us part. They, what, you can confess those things and you don't have any you don't your mind is not in it. But some other people will confess it. They take things very seriously. If someone is telling them about divorce or whatever are about to mistreat their partner. They will remember those confession. That confession will never leave them. That confession will become like a stronghold that will hold them through through ups and downs of the marriage. Whereas what other people know is just uh, your confession, just preach it. Yes, I know. You call them to preach about it. Say they have. They can explain it. They can teach about it. They can you know, let you know. But unfortunately, it's totally. It's not deep. They can teach it, they know very well, but it's not deep. May God help us in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. The Lord wants us to put our mind into things we do. The Lord wants us to put our minds into it. Are you in a relationship, either casual relationship or, or, or serious? Lord, Lord wants you to put your mind in it. Because when your mind is in it, that's when you can see fruit. That's when you can begin to see, you need to see far. But when your mind is not there, you cannot see far. Oh, it's not mine. But another person will come from nowhere and look at it and say, oh, there's a prospect in it. Whereas you have been there for years, you can't see any prospect in it. Then you will fool yourself and yes, you know everything. You do and go. Another person will come and see and, and now stay. So within two, three, four years, it becomes a total, a different total story. And begin to say, oh, what have I, what have I done to myself? May God help us in the name of Jesus. Bible says that the real woman do what build, but the foolish one will do what will destroy. The word building means what you take in, you put your mind into a building. That's when you can start and finish. The when your mind is not in building. A little thing will come, or oh, we abandon that that project and, and zoom out to another one. The new one too, something will happen to you, abandon it because your mind is never in it. You cannot say because someone has done this and that, and therefore you now build all manners of, uh, you know, uh, security and tie this in that is now hurting you yourself. The Lord wants us to be free and to be sincere, to be truthful, to be. That would always help. People can call you foolish. Let them call you foolish. At the end of it all, you are the one who will have the last laugh. May God help us in the name of Jesus. And just like David, David stood. When people are calling, oh David, you know, why are you doing? Just kill this useless uh, 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 king and take over his position. He was laughing. People are calling him the foolish. You keep walking like this until will die at the end of it all the patient and the deep understanding pays a lot pays and the Lord wants us to put our heart because when our heart is there we begin to see what other people cannot see and that seeing what other people cannot see is all about what you begin to understand what is happening that other people cannot understand because their mind is not there may God help us the same too have to do with our courses in our education in our workplaces and other stuff that job that you are that you're neglecting you're not taking it seriously you know that's the blessing too comes in a lot of people has companies today have businesses and all those kind of things so most of them if not all of them because they dedicated they serve wherever they were with all their hearts. Seriously. You serve with all your you're not serving just because of money. But you serve with all your heart. 
You serve with all your heart. You serve with all your heart. The one you serve with all your heart, even though they may end up not you know, paying you for what you are sacrificing, the Lord who sees will definitely reward you. Because the process you are serving with all your heart, you are not just only keeping that job for yourself. You are keeping that job for other people who do not even know your sacrifice, the effect of your sacrifice. That is the reason why they are in the job. That is the reason why even the mothers and the fathers, those who have been helped through that very job, that is the reason why they are because of what? The sacrifice, the exceptional sacrifice of one person or the other in that very organization. They tell me how God will not remember those sacrifices and those, you know, you know, you know, you know, those things that you have done and pay you back. There is no way. May God help us in the name of Jesus. And I pray anything we do, put your mind back there. When you put your mind, it will pay off. Hallelujah. May God help us in the name of you. When I was doing IT, as an IT engineer, in the first place I walk, I walked with all my heart, did everything. By the grace of God, the God made me to stand out among all the people who walked there. From there, the Lord. He gave me a special grace. I was able to secure a very, very good job when I was there in Africa. I was doing so well too by the grace of God. Because then the, the, the place I got a good job was not the place that I sacrificed. The place I sacrificed, even though they tried, but but the Lord, you know, paid me with another thing. That is why when you are sacrificed, you don't expect too much. Just do it from deep down your heart. In the process, you will be shocked of the word that what will come out of it in the future. Because God who sees the secret, hallelujah, will definitely will reward you in the open. But when you are there because of uh, what you want to get, but unfortunately, most times it will always end up, you know, you always end up um, in complaint, in worry, and the uh, the future will not really be that bright. Yeah, God help us. And uh, most of us, or some of us who have been, you know, operating in this very, you know, way that is not really right, may the Lord deliver us and help us. And help us to change our perspectives regarding to how we see things in the name of you. And help us to put our heart. And help us to take, to do everything we see ourselves doing as if it's your own, as if your life depends on it, as if you don't do it. You know, people are gonna die. As if you don't do it, something's gonna go wrong. Hallelujah. That is the way of greatness. May God help us in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. May God help us in Jesus' name. And I pray that the Lord will transform, will help us in Jesus' name. Now let's quickly go now to the last scripture reading we have, which is um Matthew chapter 28, from verse 1 to end. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Matthew 28, Matthew 28, Matthew 28, from verse 1 to end. Thank you, Jesus. Chapter 28. Now, after the Sabbath, toward the dawn of the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone mm. and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothing white as snow. And for fear of him, the guards trembled and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, Do not be afraid. I want us to pray this word. Bible says here that there was a great earthquake. A great earthquake that brought about the new season. Remember the season of purification, of suffering, of pains, and all that ended when Jesus Christ died and was even buried. Then now the resurrection, before the resurrection, it said there was a great earthquake. Hallelujah. That brought about the new season. 
Let prayer name of your father, Lord, let that shaking begin. Let that shaking begin. That will bring about a new transformation, a change. Let that shaking begin in the name of Jesus. Let that earthquake begin in the name of Jesus. Bring the divine dissertation in my life in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Marco Pore, Lady Bosnia, in the name of Syria. That earthquake means here, what it mean, meant was this that all the power that they were proud of, yes, you have done it, you have done it, you are doing it, you are holding him back and all those stuff. All of them were shaken out of the way. All of them were totally destroyed. And the new season, the new season that totally end that reign of those wicked spirits and the reign of those, uh, you know, you know, those wicked you know, activities of the enemies in the name of Jesus. Let there be earthquake in the name of Jesus. Let there be great earthquake. Let there be a shake in the Lord. Rock up your rebels and the bush here. Let me keep it. Your rebels and the bush for you. Paralyzing every wickedness and every agenda and every program of the enemy. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. For I know that you seek Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, Amen. for he has risen, as he said. Amen. Come, see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples that he has risen from the dead. Amen. And behold, he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him. See, I have told you. Mm. So they departed quickly from the tomb with fear and great joy and ran to tell his disciples. And behold, Jesus met them and said, Greetings. And they came up and took hold of his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. While they were going, behold, some of the guard went into the city and told the chief priest all that had taken place. And when they had assembled with the elders and taken counsel, they gave a sufficient sum of money to the soldiers and said, Tell people his disciples came by night and stole him away while we were asleep. And if this comes to the governor's ears, we will satisfy him and keep you out of trouble. So they took the money and did as they were directed. And this story has been spread among the Jews to this day. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him. But some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. Um. I am with you to the end of the age. The Lord is reassuring you tonight again that He's with you. The Lord is assuring you again that He's with you. When He's saying that I'm with you, it means you should open up to Him. Tell me, tell me the thing that are bothering you. Be sincere. Open up. Talk to me. Talk to me. Even though I know what you are going through, but I expect you to talk. With your mouth, you confess to salvation. With your mouth, you confess to freedom. The issues of life is in what the power of the tongue. It's only pride that will make us to keep, you know, make, keep things away, not to be, not to be free. Pride, because you have skeletons in our cupboard, and we end up destroying ourselves. May God help us in the name of Jesus. The Lord wants us to open up to Him. Uh, that's the reason why he, have, he has made 
this wonderful program we call prayer. This wonderful program that we call singing. Express yourself before Him. We look at the children of Israel. There is in the Lord has there's so many festive period. Come to my presence, open up. Ever so more view the world and say, anytime we go there and pour our hearts towards that very war. Father, please hear us. You don't want us to talk. Talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to him. If you don't know how to talk to him, then say, Holy Spirit, Lord, help me. Oh Lord, I need your help. I need your help. Help me, Lord Jesus, to express myself. Help me, Lord, to pour out my heart to you. Help me, Lord, to pour out my ignorance to you. Help me to pour out my foolishness to you. Help me to pour myself the way I am. Help me to express myself. Help me. I don't want to be special. I don't want to be so so unique or so organized, so you know, so methodical and so you know want to appear so respectful. No. Let's be naked before God, before your maker. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, tonight, Lord Jesus. For help us, oh Lord Jesus. Every word of protection that enemy is using to destroy us. For I will put those walls down tonight. We come before you. As empty and naked we are. Father, we pour our, our heart to you tonight and ask that the Lord have mercy. Teach me, O Lord, help me, O Lord, to know you better. Teach us your way. Teach me your way. There is so much we don't know. And there's so much ignorance in our lives. Father, help me, O Lord, just to open up in any way. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. And for those who are not giving their life to Jesus Christ, repeat this word. You say, Lord Jesus, I come to you tonight. I know I have sinned against you. Please forgive me and cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Wash me with your precious blood that I have shed upon the cross of Calvary. In the name of Jesus, come to my heart and be the Lord of my life. I believe that you died and rose again. And you're coming back to take me home. And tonight I dedicate my spirit and body to you. Declaring you to be my Lord and my Savior for that rest of my life. In the name of Jesus, I pray. For those who are sick, be healed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for what you've done. Blessed be your holy name. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Tonight. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. Now, tonight, we say, in the name of Jesus, Amen. May the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor and give you his peace. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. To peace over the land of Israel, United Kingdom, United States, in the Afrawan, the Duba, and Arab. Peace we pray. In the name of Jesus Christ we pray. And give our leaders incredible wisdom and on the tangent. In Jesus' name we pray. And bless our religious leader. Help them know, Lord, you help us to know our place in the society and stand for you, for justice, for right, justice. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. And we also will see you again early in the morning for those who can please join us. God bless you all. I have a very wonderful and wonderful night rest. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord.